Welcome to our channel. And today we're looking at the most gory or awful tragedies that occurred over or near Christmas. Number 1. The USSR Invades Afghanistan, 1979 Christmas Eve 1979 marked the start of one of the longest and bloodiest sagas in Russian history. That day the Soviet Union launched an invasion of Afghanistan. What began as a secret campaign to support a failing communist government swiftly turned into a decade-long disaster. Years of death, dislocation, and suffering would ensue. The invasion was harsh, with scorched-earth tactics, indiscriminate airstrikes, and the usage of landmines that remain on Afghan soil. It decimated Afghan society, resulting in millions of refugees. It also triggered one of the Cold War's most intense proxy fights. As the United States armed Mujahideen fighters, hundreds of thousands of Afghan people would die in the fighting. Number 2. Congo Christmas Massacre, 2008 The Democratic Republic of the Congo is no stranger to tragedy, and 2008 concluded on a particularly tragic note. After weeks of tension and bloodshed, Christmas 2008 brought few tidings of peace and joy. The Lord's Resistance Army, a militant Christian group, carried out a destructive and violent spree. As the celebration began on Christmas Eve, the LRA attacked towns throughout Hot Wele region. More than 600 people were slaughtered in ways too graphic to recount here. They also abducted dozens of individuals, including children, perpetrated sexual abuse against women, and destroyed entire communities. This slaughter was part of the LRA's protracted terror campaign, and its consequences can still be felt today. Number 3. Erzincan Earthquake, 1939 Uncertainty prevailed everywhere around Christmas 1939 as the world braced for wartime storms. In the middle of this, Turkey had a natural disaster. On December 27th, an earthquake of 7.8 magnitude rocked the Erzincan region, causing devastation. Entire communities were destroyed, killing more than 32,000 people. During the harsh winter, countless more people were injured or left homeless. Erzincan's silence was deafening in the midst of bells and songs ringing all throughout the world. It was only shattered by survivors' pleas and the sound of breaking timbers. This Christmas season was defined by tenacity in the face of adversity, rather than joy. Number 4. Italian Hall Disaster, 1913 Shouting fire in a crowded theater is a popular cautionary tale that law schools around the country use as an exception to the First Amendment. Attendees at the 1913 Christmas Eve celebration in the Italian Hall, however, saw it as more than a metaphor. It was a terrible reality. Striking copper workers and their families came for a holiday dinner that night in Calumet B, Michigan. They sought a brief break from their arduous struggle against exploitative mine management. The hall was filled with pleasure and togetherness until an unidentified stranger cried, Fire! into the crowded gathering. Chaos erupted. There was no fire, but the rush to flee ended tragically when 73 individuals, the majority of whom were youngsters, were crushed on the small stairs. Number 5. Tanguay Train Disaster, 1953 Christmas Eve, 1953 should have been a peaceful day for New Zealanders, but nature had other intentions. Mount Ruapehu's volcano crater silently erupted, spewing a deadly mix of mud, water, and volcanic debris down its slopes. The rushing stream overflowed the neighboring dam that held back the crater lake. It moved downwards, weakening the rail bridge at Tangiwai. On Christmas Eve, an express train packed with holiday travelers careened unintentionally toward Calamity. The engineer noticed the damage, but it was too late. He braked, saving the back half of the train as the front fell into the Wangaihud River below. Of the 285 passengers, 151 died in the frigid waters, making this New Zealand's greatest train accident. Number 6. Library of Congress Burns, 1851 The Library of Congress has a history of intense sadness. Its inaugural collection was destroyed by fire in 1814, when British troops raised the capital during the War of 1812. The next year, Congress recreated the nation's library by purchasing more than 6,000 volumes from Thomas Jefferson's personal collection. However, on Christmas Eve, 1851, calamity struck again. A damaged chimney flue ignited the fire in the library's main room. 
Almost two-thirds of the book collection was destroyed, including much of Jefferson's valuable bequest. Overall, the fire destroyed 35,000 books, manuscripts, and maps, transforming what should have been a joyous season into one of cultural loss. Number 7. Christmas Flood, 1717 During the winter of 1717, Hollanders were not given to a Merry Christmas. As families gathered to celebrate, a powerful storm surge from the North Sea rushed throughout the Netherlands, smashing dikes and flooding low-lying areas. Known as the Christmas Flood, it was one of the greatest disasters in Dutch history, affecting Germany and Scandinavia as well. The frigid floods took over 14,000 lives, submerging entire communities and destroying numerous homes. Villages vanished, livestock drowned, and survivors were left in a freezing landscape where holiday cheer was replaced by sadness. The Dutch, long considered masters of water management, were humbled by nature's savagery. The incident highlighted the dangers of living below sea level, prompting increased efforts to strengthen their defenses. Number 8. The Ku Klux Klan founded in 1865 The holiday season in 1865 was bittersweet. The Civil War was over. Slavery was abolished and the nation began to heal. However, it was also a period of tremendous uncertainty. Abraham Lincoln had died, Reconstruction's future was uncertain, and not everyone accepted the promise of equality. On Christmas Eve in Pulaski, Tennessee, a small group of Confederate veterans convened. They formed the Ku Klux Klan to conceal their revanchist objectives behind ominous concealment. What started as a fraternity swiftly turned into a terrorist organization. The KKK used violence and intimidation to maintain white supremacy and undermine the delicate progress of Reconstruction. Instead of friendliness and peace, these guys instilled dread and hostility, casting a dark shadow over the country for decades to come. Number 9, Indian Ocean Tsunami, 2004 Boxing Day, December 26, 2004, began with pleasure but ended in unspeakable misery. When the Indian Ocean unleashed one of history's greatest natural disasters, a powerful earthquake off the coast of Sumatra generated a tsunami that rushed through more than a dozen countries, including Indonesia and East Africa. Walls of flood engulfed entire villages, leaving devastation in its wake. Approximately 230,000 lives were lost. Families were ripped apart in an instant and towns were destroyed. Beaches that were previously crowded with Christmas revelers have become sites of mayhem and unthinkable ruin. The tsunami arrived with little warning, its violence unparalleled, and transformed a season of tranquility into one of global sadness. Number 10. Black Christmas, 1941 December 7, 1941, will be remembered for the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. However, a day later, Japanese forces launched an assault on the British territory of Hong Kong. Allied forces held out against overwhelming odds for 17 grueling days. But on Christmas Day, with its fortifications devastated and resources depleted, Hong Kong succumbed. For the surviving, surrender signaled the start of a nightmare. Japanese army committed a wave of atrocities, executions of POWs, sexual abuse against countless women, and widespread theft occurred throughout the city. Outlying communities were destroyed. Civilians were starved to death or killed outright. The end of the Battle of Hong Kong became known as Black Christmas. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation. It is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey.